Hey everybody, it's Drew Stu. And you know when you're practicing calf rope and there's a lot of things that's really got it. Safety is probably the key thing. One thing that you really need to practice on your calf rope is your mounting to help your horse kind of just jump a little bit. Jump when you get in and, and uh, make sure you the stirrups are about the right length. Calf roping is different than team roping because in team roping you, you do this thing around the horn. I want to show you guys how to tie a horn knot real quick. To tie a really, really good horn knot, you go like this. And then a lot of times I like to put just an extra one through there like that, just so you really suck it down on there. Always get on on the right side, not on the right side, but on the left side, because that's the right side. You know, there's an old saying that goes like this. It's easy to have a big gate if you have cattle. It's easy to have a gate and cattle. If you have a gate, cattle are easy. That's what it is. This is going to be our gate, and that's going to be easy because it's cattle. One thing that roping is all about is position. There's four things in calf roping that are probably the most important things. And the first thing is position, and the second thing is gait, and the third thing is position. And those are the four keys to calf rope. So you get ready, and you always want to pretend you're on a horse, and there's a lot of different really good positions. Like, this is a pretty good position, this is a really good position, this is a really good position, and this is good position. This is probably the best position but this is higher level positioning for really, really good ropers like Chris Flaherty. So the three keys are position, gates, and position, and a gate and position to calf rope. Before you work on your swing, it's body position. And that's one thing that Chris Flaherty preaches more than anything is body position. We worked on our horse position earlier in the video, but now we're gonna work on body position. So you wanna be ready to step off all the time. So what I do to get ahead of my competition, I sneak this foot up just like this so that so that come what may and then if your horse ducks a little bit all you've got to do is put your knee in the swell that's the swell of your saddle right here they call it a swell because when your horse goes to bucking you can put your knees in it and you go oh that's pretty swell I'm not gonna get bucked off foot up ready to get off but in an athletic stance calf rope is an athlete's sport and so now that we're in our good calf roping position we're gonna work on our swing something pretty well right in here. This is a good swing. That's a pretty good swing. That's a pretty good swing. This is a pretty good swing. So now that we've got our horse position and our gate built, you got to have a gate with easy cattle. You got your gate built in your body position and our swing and then our third step and that's that's our delivery. You can choose any one of those swings that I just showed you. Any one of them works, especially the last one. But I prefer this one here. I call this one my favorite swing. Your delivery goes one, two, three. Pretty good. One, two, three. One, two, three. We've got our horse position body position, our gait, and our swing, and our delivery, then we're going to start working on catching. And catching is pretty important too. That's also step four. Good body position, good gait, horse position is great, swing feels really good. And then when you come to the cross, this is when having a broke horse comes pretty good into play. One thing about calf roping is focus, and Chris Flaherty has a lot of focus, and there's nobody that understands focus like Mark Lewis either. Focus is an acronym, and I'm not going to explain what an acronym is because that takes too long. Body position, gait, horse position, swing, delivery. That was a trap. I was going to trap that one. Gait, swing. See? Pretty easy. You got a good shot of that loop? See what a good loop looks like in the calf roping? Now the fourth step is your slack. No slacking on the slack is what I always say. Your horse is in good position, you're in good body position, your gate's closed now, and what you do 
is you got to pull it really hard. You got to do a lot of practicing on that. Pull it really hard, pull it really hard, pull it really hard, and then you pitch it. And there's a lot of ways you can pitch your slack. But you got to make sure your saddle's tight too. We're still in that good get off fast position and we pitch our slack to the right, down the middle, and if we're really handy, we pitch our slack to the inside. See? That's how you practice it. Wherever that calf goes, because you're in good horse position, body position, and there you go. We've gone through all the steps, and now it's to the part where we have to get to this. You're supposed to put it through your belt loop back here. You put it back there, you get it, and you want to have a pretty, you got to have a pretty good size loop because some calves have bigger feet now in California. Get your pig and string ready. And then you work on getting off your horse. It's the fourth step. Is that a high speed camera? Cameraman, is that high speed camera? It's a high speed camera. Thank goodness. I'm gonna put my slack on the inside. So I'm in good body position, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing, and I'm gonna put it to the inside. And really hustle. You gotta always hustle. You gotta hustle, and then you just get there. And you touch them. Position, slack, and inside. Hustle. You gotta hustle. Always hustle. Always hustle. Pow, pow. Taking things good. My horse is ducking pretty good. I'm ready to get off. I'm looking at my target and some other stuff. And straight. Oh, that was really good. Woohoo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Think I got one more in me like that? You think so? How about it? I'm feeling? This is a short round. Short round. I'm a short round. Swallow the money shot. It's where you pay you. That's how you get to the NF and R. Pendleton, Washington, home of Riley and Brady Minor. But they're they're in the team tying deal. They don't they're not they're not individual athletes like this. It's Rodale, Pendleton, Washington. Start round time. Flint Grassmerson's announcing. Pendleton, Washington. Okay. We just got done watching Anthony Lucia do rope tricks. You know what? I feel like I should probably do the whole thing. Watch, you want to see a trick? I'm making your loop bigger. Put it in your strap and you pull on it like this. Gate. Position. The swing. I was just practice. That's what calf ropers do before the rodeo. Focus rodeo time. Big knot. Swing. Position. 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 Swing it. Swing it. Yeah. Now I'm going to put it on the inside. Go on with it. Then you go down. Yeah, wrestling. You gotta, you gotta daylight. You gotta left with your left hand, and then. I hope this helped you with your four keys of your calf roping, your position, your gait, your swing, your horse position, your delivery. And your focus. Those are the four keys of calf roping.